40. Make every shot count. I'm not giving up on them yet. They haven't given up on us. Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to bring you my review for the 2024 World War II action film, Murder Company. The film is directed by Shane Dax Taylor and it stars Kelsey Grammer, William Mosley, Joe Anderson, Pooch Hall and Giles Marini. Now the film is supposedly based on true events, but... Let's be honest, most war films that you watch these days generally say this anyway. Um, so how true to life it is, I don't know, but that's what it claims in the film. And it focuses on um, a group of American soldiers who are sent behind enemy lines to take down the highest ranking SS officer. Um, and if they do so, it will disrupt the German forces enough in order for them to get the lads off the beaches in the DDA landing sort of thing. Uh, so it's a very, very important mission, and they choose um, a selection of soldiers, send them behind enemy lines, and they get the nickname of Murder Company. Um, right, so what are my thoughts on this film, Murder Company? Well, this is... I saw the trailer for this a few months ago, and I thought the trailer looked decent enough, but it, I also recognised what it was, which was a fairly middling budgeted, you know, well, low budgeted really, but it's direct to DVD stroke streaming war film with <clears throat> decent effects, you know, decent action, decent performances, all that kind of stuff. And it is all of that. It's, I think the thing that this film is... <laughs> When this film is at its best, it's still only middle-of-the-road stuff. It's still only, like, very bang-average stuff. Um, and when it's at its worst, it's dull as dishwater. So it, it's it's a film that it, it has very few highs, if what I'm trying to say. I mean, a lot of movies like this, you know, with lower budgets and a name on the DVD cover or, the, you know, the poster, as we have here with Kelsey Grammer... Um, it, it they kind of draw you in and then you kind of know what you're going to get really with these things and the kind of um pretty dull storytelling but with occasional moments of action that kind of you forgive sort of thing and a, a lot of these type of movies if it's like a bigger budget to like cinema movie with all the, you know, it's high, nicely polished and big budget and top actors. And quite a lot of the times you can forgive the slower parts of the film or the less interesting parts of the film because the highs are so high in the fil those films. Where the highs in this film are nowhere near high enough to kind of let you forgive the rest of the film because uh, essentially it's a very, very dull plot really it's just a bunch of soldiers let loose in what's supposed to be like you know <laughs> um these like woods and hills and all this kind of stuff at the um in, in, in europe but it just feels like they've been let loose in some woods around the back of the filming lot um so all the scenery looks the same it looks like they're going around in circles in this wood um, and you'll get this company <clears throat> trudging along, endlessly debating with each other why they're there, what they're doing, you know, um, how is it going to affect the war by killing this one man, and why are they helping this French guy who they've got with them on the, on the, um, who's with their uh, group of soldiers, there's like French sniper from the resistance who, who kind of is acting as their guide. So they're endlessly bitching and moaning um, in the talky bits. And then out on over, there'd be like an ambush of German soldiers. And then you get a battle that uh, usually ends with one of the like, one of the company kind of getting killed or wounded or something happening like that. And then it's rinse and repeat. And then it'll kind of then flash occasionally back to the base of operations. And we get to see Kelsey Grammer doing like a speech. Um, and, you know, talking about how they need to protect this bridge, otherwise the war is finished and all this kind of stuff. And it's all very over the top and very melodramatic. And But it, it, it just feels too... It doesn't feel epic. It doesn't feel um, like if, if they don't do this, 
oh my god, everyone's going to be in real trouble. It just doesn't feel that essential what they're doing. Either either Kelsey Grammer back at the base of operations or this group of men behind enemy lines occasionally taking down waves of Nazi soldiers. Um, and I, I just wasn't invested in this story at all or any of these characters. You know, and look, I'm not here to compare this to films like Saving Private Ryan, but there are comparisons to be made you know um between the two it's 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 unavoidable um but it's in private ryan you know there are so many memorable characters in that film you know when you when you lost somebody in that film you've really really felt it whereas when you lost somebody in this film you don't even remember the name it had absolutely zero emotional impact on you watching this film. And that tells me, and it should tell you, that there's very little effort gone into the writing here or very little effort gone into fleshing out any of the characters. They've just kind of given us a very bland, um, run-of-the-mill war story. Um, and like I say, you know, put Kelsey Grammer on the poster call them murder company and you know put an half interesting trailer out there and it'll draw people in but unfortunately for me i just found this a real struggle at times to get through um and it did make it passable and more watchable because some of the action scenes were done quite well um you know they were they were very watchable at times but it, it, it's hard to enjoy them more because I, I didn't care who was in the battles if that makes sense um and some of the effects were very dodgy some of the explosion effects were very cheap and um not very impactful and all that kind of stuff so this is a pretty bang average at best war film for me it was a little bit below average unfortunately it just didn't tick many of my boxes um as a you know a fairly low budgeted like war film you're okay yeah you could you could argue there was some decent effort put in here and um and you know i, I didn't have a problem if i'm honest with any of the performances here in the film for everybody performed particularly well i didn't have a problem with any of that and you know and kelsey grammar was suitably you know uh, grandio when he was on the screen giving his speeches and stuff he's that like, everyone's absolutely fine in the film it's just it lacks soul this film and it lacks that edge to kind of get you draw you in and keep you interested um so it, i suppose if you if you see this one on any of your streaming services you know if you like war films you might put it on and think oh this is half decent i don't mind this one but for me it just didn't strike a chord with me at all really so thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed this review i will of course be back with plenty more reviews and content on the channel very very soon